robot house that is the woman that you are listening to please again clap for the last time hallelujah to jesus so robot house with a clap innovation bringing the work this morning is no other person or pastor dr rotimi oluyombo come on our robot house let's give him a welcome a welcome a welcome oh come on now come i was going to i was going to wait for when you're going to eventually do it <laughs> Glory to Jesus. The church is marching on. The church is marching on. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching. We are marching on the church is marching. We are marching on the church is marching. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching. We are marching on the church is marching on. The church is marching. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching on. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, should I say in my language, Equileo? Um, the Lord has been good. The Lord has been wonderful. He has been so kind to his church. And the one who has been doing the job, he will not let you alone in Jesus' name. The one who has carried the church to this level, to this stage, he will not abandon the church in Jesus' name. And as many who have been supporting, who has been there to hold the hand of the leadership of the church, the pastors in the church, who has been there to give them support, God Almighty will support you in Jesus' name. God Almighty will support you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I want us to sit down, please. Let's have our seat. Let's have our seat. I thank God for the life of our pastor and our mommy. I said something in the morning, and what I said was that he knows that I don't praise him. But I am going to say the other part of it. But maybe he does not know that I celebrate him. It's not because he is there. By the grace of God, I am going to make a confession here this morning. It's the afternoon already. There was a time my Zona pastor then I don't know if we have people from um, Ocean Province 1 where we are worshipping. Pastor Luwale is now the assistant provincial pastor, I think, if I still remember. He said, Dr. Luyombo, please, I want you to go and be heading, be leading one of the parishes. I think it was the women group that uh, set up the parish then but then I had I remember I had many things on my plate it wasn't a good excuse I have to be honest with you but then I said sorry I will not go and what I thought about then was the nature of my job I thought it was very busy I'm telling you that I thought then I knew I was very busy but I thought it was very busy because there's one thing that we forget to understand. And that is the fact that whatever you find yourself doing, you're not the one doing it. It's God that is carrying you. It's God. You ride upon the wings of God. He told the children of Israel, he said, never must you think that it is by your power that you get onto this place. He said, I've carried you on top of my wings. I didn't know then. I said, no, I'm not going. I paid for it. I paid for it. When I'm saying I paid for it, I will not tell you the details. 
but I know that I paid for it. But I thank God that God resuscitated me. Permit me to use that word, maybe as a doctor. He revived me. He, he forgave me. He had mercy on me. Because I can say that to the glory of God, eventually we went out. And um, thank God today, that church that we went to is now the, I think it's a zona headquarter. By the grace of God, still under Osho Province 1. Why, why am I saying this? Combination of secular activities with pastoral job takes a lot. And that's why I always celebrate him. I don't know whether you see work outside Nottingham. He was working outside Nottingham. He would drive. I would just be wondering, how does this man manage to cope in the UK? If it were to be in Nigeria, you know, there are many things that um, I, you can always ask people. Do this, do this, do this. But I'm happy today that God has given him good support. God has given him good hands. And I see everybody here as the supporting team in one capacity or the other. And that's why I'm celebrating all of you this morning. If you are clapping unto the Lord, I want you to clap. Clap unto the Lord. Clap unto the Lord. Clap unto the Lord. Maybe I'm not supposed to say this on the altar of God, but in my language, forgive me if I'm saying it. Only in your If nobody is flying, if, if nobody is flinging it, it won't make any noise. I thank God for your lives. I thank God for the company. I thank you, Ma. The Almighty God will continue to strengthen you. We celebrate you, sir. And the God also will continue to celebrate you. I can tell you God is celebrating you. And he will continue to celebrate you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's bow down our heads. Let's go ahead and talk to the Lord. Let's speak to the Lord that this afternoon, the Lord Almighty will reach out unto us. Let's talk to the Lord that are coming into the presence of God. will not be in vain. I want us to ask the Lord that the Spirit of the Lord will speak to us. Let's ask the Lord, Father, speak to me. Almighty God of heaven and earth, speak to me. Speak your word to me. Word of life life changing life transforming father speak to me this morning in the mighty name of jesus everlasting father blessed be the name of the lord father we worship your name we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you all the adoration thank you daddy in jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed father we thank you thank you for the opportunity to be here to hear your word thank you almighty God that you remain faithful you have never failed and you will never fail the Bible says that you are the same yesterday today and forever you are the same you are the ancient of days and the Bible also made us understand that you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the almighty. You are the endless God. Father, we appreciate you and we exalt your name. We thank you because you change it not. Please accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Daddy, as we go into your word again, we ask that you speak to us. We ask that you give us wisdom. We ask that you give us understanding. Father almighty. We hide ourselves behind you and we say, we ask, Holy Spirit, please speak through us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Glory be unto your name, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's open our Bible to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7 to 10. Proverbs 4, verse 7 to 10. 
The Bible says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And it says, with all thy getting, get understanding. Somebody will get understanding this morning in Jesus' name. Somebody will receive the wisdom of God in Jesus' name. The, when our sister shared her testimony, I said, mm -mm, why are you preaching the message? Yeah. Because it is one thing for you to see that this is money. Physically, you are looking at money. And then you choose to go for what on the surface is not. It's very difficult. Abraham was told, leave your parents, leave your family, leave everything that you can see. Go to a land. God did not say specifically where he wants him to go. Go to a land I will show you. <laughs> and he left. He left. He didn't know where he was going. But he left. But one thing is that the Bible says, faithful is he who has called you. Faithful is he who has called you. He will perfect what he has started. He will do what he is going to do. Praise the Lord. What we are talking about this afternoon is titled Celebration of Wisdom. People will celebrate your wisdom in Jesus' name. Celebration of wisdom. You know, it is one thing to take, many a times when you take a decision, you don't take a decision before many people, before all the people. It's a personal thing. And we are going to use the life of Solomon as an example today by the grace of God. When you take a decision and you are waiting, you, 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 you embark on that decision, on that journey, which you are not too sure of where the end will be. But if you make God your pillar, your rest, if you make God your rock on whom you are standing upon, you can be sure that that wisdom is going to be celebrated. Many of us I know many years ago, a few years ago, maybe recently, last year, last week, we took a decision to become Christian. We became born again. I don't know if there's anybody in the house this afternoon, and you are celebrating the day that you gave your life to Jesus Christ. I don't know if you have anybody in the house like that. I can say that I am celebrating the day that I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Because all the way he has been there for me. It was a decision that you have to take, personal decision. And that's why we say salvation is a personal decision. It's not a decision that your pastor will take for you. Making a decision to go on this journey and not on this is a personal decision. And by the time God is blessing and everybody is seeing what has happened, then you become celebrated. And then it's as if you are the one who knows how to make a decision. I pray for you today, whatever decision that you are going to make that will end up in celebration, God Almighty will help you to take such a decision in Jesus' name. Yeah. I give you another example. There, I'm, I'm sure there was a day our father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. E. Adeboye, decided to give his life to Jesus Christ. I am sure that there was a day he chose as instructed, as advised, as encouraged by the man of God. Everybody, go and empty your account. This is what God is saying and bring it to service next Sunday. He obeyed. It was a decision. And it was a wise decision. Today, I have not come to tell you that you should go and empty your account. I can only tell you that any decision you are going to take, let it be guided by God. I pray for you. I pray for you wholeheartedly that every decision that you will take that is outside the counsel of God, you will not take such in Jesus' name. You will not take such a decision in the mighty name of Jesus. Any decision that you will take that will rubbish the name of God, you will not take such a decision in the name of Jesus. The decision that you will take that will lead to celebration, just like our sister came out to celebrate, 
that she chose. She said that she saw a profession. Money was there. But then, she decided to go with God. That was a wise decision. Because God by himself, he says, silver and gold, they are mine. They are mine. So if you want silver and gold, come to God. Come to Christ. You will get it. I said you will get it. And God will not fail you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. If you look at the book of 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles chapter 1, 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verse 6 to 10. 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verse 6 to 10. I, I, I will just paraphrase what happened there. When Solomon became a king, you know, when you are made a king, what you are supposed to do is to celebrate. You rejoice. You should be happy. But Solomon realized that something was missing and was going to make, make mess of the opportunity that God has given unto him. The Bible says that he went to meet people. If you follow that story, he went to meet people. He had an assembly. He gathered them. They discussed. They chatted. But then he did something. He went away to Gibeon. He went to Gibeon. We all know what is in Gibeon. Do we? There was an halter there. There was an halter there. What a decision. I pray for you today. The decision that you will make that will end up in your celebration. You will make it today in Jesus' name. That decision that you will take that will make you to be celebrated in your family, wherever you are, in your place of work, in the ministry, you will take such a decision in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And for you to know that this man was actually celebrated, you and I will know, we talk about it today. Solomon was the wisest king, isn't it? Why are we talking about him? He took a decision. I don't know the decision I'm going to take today. I don't know what God has laid before you. I don't know what God is asking you to do. And you are saying, God, this is too tough. I don't want to go that way because it is too tough. But God is saying, don't go down to Egypt. Each time people go to Egypt, it is going down. You will not go down. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not go down. In the name of Jesus. If you look at the book of First Kings chapter 10, First Kings chapter 10, verse 6 to 10. I mentioned it this morning. The Bible says that Solomon had a visitor. The queen of Sheba, she came around because she had a lot. There was a king in the land of Israel. That king is wonderful. That king is marvelous. That king is glorious. That king is excellent. He has everything. He was very rich. He has this. Being celebrated. And the Bible says that Queen Sheba came. What did she? These are the things that she said. Happy are thy men, happy are this thy servant, which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Next verse, sir. He said, Blessed be the Lord your God. There's one factor there that you cannot do without. I cannot do without it. He said, Blessed be the Lord your God. Which delighted in you. God will be delighted in somebody here today in Jesus' name. God delighted in him. What made God to delight in him? Wisdom. The wisdom to choose. To say, God, please, I just need you. What are you doing? And you are making God a second class citizen in your plan, in your program. I want to advise you this morning. Bring God to the forefront. Let him run in front and you at the back. Let him carry you. Don't complain. Give everything to God Almighty and you'll be celebrated in Jesus' name. She said, Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in you to set you on the throne of Israel. Because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he king to do judgment and justice. God Almighty, wisdom, celebration of wisdom. 
And for you to know that when people are celebrating wisdom, what did she do? She did many other things. She gave Solomon gift again. Gift upon gift. Gift upon gift. When your wisdom is being celebrated, there is no limit. Just like our proclamation, our profession. There is no limit to the expansion of God. There is no limit to the increase of God. When God is there for you, the door cannot be shut against you. That is just the truth. The door cannot be shut against you. Today I pray, God will give you wisdom. I said, God will give you wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus. And what did Solomon, what did he do? The first thing he did was to locate an altar. Can I tell you, people of God, you are in the presence of the Most High God. This is an altar of God. And the presence of God is here in this house. I said the presence of God is here in this house. I can hear few voices. I said the presence of God is here in this house. And his presence will never depart from here in Jesus' name. So one thing that Solomon did was, the first thing he did, he located an altar. He located an altar. Do we know that we, there are different altars? Different altars. But the one that is usually above that is important, which I'm going to talk to you about this morning, is the altar of the Almighty God. May you locate the presence of God in Jesus' name. May you locate the presence of God Almighty in the name of Jesus. So Solomon located an altar. Everybody was shouting about Solomon who was the wisest king. They never knew that the first thing he did was to find an altar. I don't know what your own altar is. Prayer, singing, Sunday school. I don't know the capacity in which you are working. I don't know where you are serving the Lord. But can I encourage you this morning that you have done well. And you will continue to do well in Jesus' name. I said you will continue to do well in Jesus' name. Because that was, that was a decision you take. And it is still a good decision that you have taken. Because the Bible says that God has not called the house of Jacob to seek him in vain. You will not seek God in vain in Jesus' name. You will not seek God in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. If you are yet to locate an altar, you can create one. You can create one. You can make one. You can make one. When Elijah realized that the altar of God has been put down, for him to conquer the prophet of Baal, what did he do? He reassembled, he regarded the altar of God. And that was where he slaughtered several of the prophets of Baal. You can only slaughter the prophet of Baal on the altar of God. Not on your own altar or the altar of any other God. And when I say any other God, I mean small g, O-D, small s. You can only slaughter the enemy. You can only win the battle of life when you are on the altar of God. Praise the Lord. You can only conquer, you can only become what you desire to be when you stand upon the altar of God. And the Lord will help somebody here today in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, the Lord will help somebody here today in the name of the Lord Jesus. And can I also say here this morning, this, 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 today, that your real altar is your heart. I don't know what is going on in your heart. I don't know what you are thinking about. I don't know what to meditate upon. I don't know what is going out of your heart. The Bible says we should guide our heart because out of the heart are what? Many issues of life. What are the issues of life that are coming from you? God says that don't allow the fire of God to go out from this altar. How many hours, how many minutes do you spend to pray? Is your prayer plus Jesus minus Satan? And then you go out hoping that God Almighty has heard. I'm not saying God has not heard. Take more time to pray. That would be a good altar. 
Take more time to praise the law. That will be a good altar. Take more time to worship the law. That will be a good altar. And your decision, your wisdom will be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. I said your wisdom shall be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. What is the other thing that Solomon did? We're talking about celebration of wisdom. Because when you see glory outside, you don't know what has transpired behind. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We see many men of God, great men of God. You don't know what is going on at the back door behind the scene. Some of them will not eat for ages, for days, fasting, praying, dedicating themselves, committing themselves to God Almighty. I pray for you, the decision that you will take that will lead to your celebration. Today, you will take such a decision in the mighty name of Jesus. I said you will take such a decision in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. What is the second thing that Solomon did? The Bible says he made a sacrifice. He located an altar. And the second thing he did was to make a sacrifice. Sacrifice. There's a difference between giving and sacrifice. David told us something. He said, I will not give unto God what, let me say it literally, what I will not feel. What I will not feel in myself within me. He said, I will not give unto God. Have you gotten to that level? When you give unto the Lord and you feel it, you feel it in your pocket, you feel it in your heart. When you pray to God and you know that I have taken time to pray, I know that I, have you prayed to the level that you have a release in your spirit and then you know that this I have prayed for, I know God has answered. That will be somebody's experience in the mighty name of Jesus. The challenge that we have these days as believers, as Christians, is that we don't know how to make sacrifice. And when I'm talking about sacrifice, I know many people's mind will be talking about money. I'm not asking for your money. I am not. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that you should give your money. But even if I'm saying that, one thing we should realize is that God is not going to spend that money. He used the money for the expansion of his kingdom. We were all at the picnic yesterday. I had those delicious food, fried rice, jollof rice, everything all together. They did not come for free. I know some people might have contributed, but your offering, your giving, these are the things I was made to understand when I was going through the workers in training. They are, things that, they are, they are just the realities. They are basic things. These all will not go for free. You are in the UK for God's sake. And there is no free lunch in the UK. When you are invited for lunch, have you been invited for lunch in your place of work before? You go there with your with your wallet. You go there with your wallet. Praise the Lord. So there is one thing that I have noticed we find it difficult to make sacrifice. Sacrifice of our time. It's a wise decision. When you are ready to sacrifice your time for God Almighty. It is a wise decision. I know you are saying, oh, I need to rest. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do this. And I have discovered in myself, personal experience, when I'm supposed to be attending Sunday school or Bible study, and I decided to stay back at home, I noticed that that hour would just go without achieving anything. That is my own personal experience. I don't know what your own experience is. Brethren, we are called to make a sacrifice. And if you are the type who will make a sacrifice, you will be celebrated. I said you will be celebrated. Abraham made a choice of sacrificing his only begotten son. God said, God spelled it out for him. He said, Abraham, take that your son. God is wonderful. He said, take that your son. He didn't finish there. And then he decided to qualify. He said, that's your son that you love. <laughs> that's your son that you love. Take him. 
I want you to give him to me. Sacrifice him. Glory be to God. And the Bible says the following morning, Abraham, he didn't think twice. The Bible did not record it. Maybe he entertained fear. Maybe he entertained some worry, concerns. The Bible did not record it. But the Bible says the following morning, he packed all the packagings and he set out on a journey. And he was going to kill his only son, the son that he loved. Remember, Ishmael was born then. But God said, that son who you love, that money, that money that you said, it is only dead that can take it from me. God is saying, give. God is saying, give. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, I love the story of my father in the Lord. I love his story. We have, we have done degree program, master program, PhD program with a very great potential. Not just ordinary potential, a, great, a very great potential. And God is saying, mm, come and serve me. And the way it was starting, it was not promising. Why did I say it was not promising? The man he was serving under was not educated. The church was not great. It was a very small church. But he made a decision. And today, by the grace of God and to the glory of God Almighty, we are celebrating that decision. The decision that you will make today that will lead to your celebration, you will make such decision in Jesus' name. I said you will make such decision in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So Solomon made a sacrifice. And when the Bible was describing the type, the nature of the sacrifice he made, the Bible says that he made a thousand sacrifices. Sometimes I like to quantify just to know what a thousand sacrifice could be. I was unable to get what an estimate of a thousand sacrifice of Solomon would be. But what made me to understand that it was a sacrifice indeed was the fact that the Bible says that in the middle of the night, he received a visitation. He had a visitation. And the visitation was because of the sacrifice you made today, make a request. An open check. Just write any amount that you have that you want there. Open check. Because of the wisdom of sacrifice. Brethren, let us live a life of sacrifice. As far as this kingdom is concerned, let us cultivate the habit of living a life of sacrifice. And I pray that God will not fail you in Jesus' name. So Solomon made a sacrifice. The second thing he did, he made a sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And we know that sacrifices come, it, it comes in sizes and in values. Sacrifices will come in sizes and values. We talk about somebody who was going to sacrifice his own son. I don't know what value to place upon this kind of sacrifice. His own son that was begotten by him. During the time of Solomon, it was the sacrifice of a thousand that he was going to do. During the time of David, it was the sacrifice of his life. His father was not there to say, David, pursue that bear. Pursue that lion that has taken the animal. But what did he do? He would always take that decision to run after the lion. And God would be saying, mm, mm, mm. This is going to be the next leader, the next king in the land of Israel. Because if this boy can chase after the lion, if he can chase after the bear, if he can chase after these animals that have come to snatch his father's animals, without anybody there, I don't know how old he was, but I was sure that David was less than 20 years then. And it was not a surprise for David to stand before Goliath. The Bible says, See thou a man who is diligent in all he's doing. He will stand before kings 
and not before mean men. The decision that somebody took in the wilderness while looking after the animal was celebrated in the open before Goliath. Praise the Lord. I don't know the decision that God is asking you to take today to support somebody, to help somebody, to give to somebody, to make a sacrifice. Can I tell you, go ahead and make that sacrifice. You will not be disappointed. I said you will not be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. A life of sacrifice positions you in a place that you yourself cannot imagine. It has a way of translocating us. Sacrifice will translocate you. It's going to place you in another pedestal of life that you cannot even imagine. David never thought that he was going to become a king. He was asked, go and give food to your brothers at the war front. That was the message. And I want to stress also here that obedience is a sacrifice. Obedience, a life of obedience, is a sacrifice. Because obedience means you are doing it even when it is not comfortable for you. He was called from the bush. He could have said, am I the only child in this house, daddy? You sent me to the bush. I was there. I was faithful to you. Now you are saying I should go to the war front to go and give them food. But he obeyed. A life of sacrifice. And from there he was translocated. Today, the almighty God of heaven and the earth will translocate you to a higher level in Jesus' name. I said God will translocate you to a higher level in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So a life of sacrifice is very important. And then the third thing that Solomon did, he asked for wisdom. He asked for wisdom. He located an altar. He made a sacrifice. I, mark my word, I'm not saying he made a giving. He made a sacrifice. And the third thing is that he asked for wisdom. He asked for wisdom. You know, when we were young, and you are saying, oh, limousine, I want that limousine. Oh, this one, I want that. That mansion, I want that mansion. Solomon was a very young man. God said, what do you want? Let me ask you this question. If God is giving you an open check today and he's saying, ask me what you want, what are you going to ask the Lord? I leave the answer to you. But one thing is this. Solomon asked God, he said, God, even to start with, I don't know I can become a king. And now that you have made me a king, I don't even know how to lead this your people. So I need wisdom. Ah. <laughs> And just like the reply of Elijah to Elisha, you have asked a difficult thing. But because you are asking for it, you have it. Whatever you are asking God for today, you have them in Jesus' name. I said whatever you are asking God today, as long as it's according to the will of God Almighty, you have them in Jesus' name. You have them in Jesus' name. You have them in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So he asked for wisdom. Wisdom. He asked God, give me wisdom. Brethren, leaders in the church, wisdom is very important. It's a principal thing. Wisdom to start. To start a business. To start a job. To start a ministry. To start anything. Solomon asked God for wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. You will have what you ask God for today in Jesus' name. Amen. Wisdom for direction is very important. Wisdom for direction. If you look at Exodus chapter 40, Exodus chapter 40, verse 16, the Bible talks about Moses. And what the Bible says about him, which was quite intriguing, was this, that whatever God asked Moses to do, to details, even including the temple. He did. He did. Wisdom for direction. 
God will say, this is what I want you to do. He goes, this is what I want you to do. He was doing everything in details according to the instruction of God. What is the pastor asking you to do? And you are condemning everything. What is your leader asking you to do? The leader of your group. And you are saying, mm -mm, that idea is a cake. I, I don't think it's for me. But the Bible says, as God instructs Moses, he was doing. The wisdom for direction, you will get today in Jesus' name. I said, the wisdom for direction, you will get today in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, we need wisdom to continue. It is not just to start a race, but also to finish. And I pray for somebody in the house today, you will finish well. Amen. I said you will finish well. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you will not fade off. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus. So wisdom to continue. Wisdom to continue. If you look at Psalm 37, Psalm 37, and I we appreciate if the, the multimedia can help me. Psalm 37, verse 23 to 24. Psalm 37, verse 23 to 24. Please, quickly. Okay. I can read from here anyway. Psalm 37. Psalm 37. Oh, it's there. Okay, thank you. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight also in yourself in the Lord, and it shall give you the desires of your heart. Sorry, is that the correct verse that I wanted us to look at? Yeah, 20, yeah. I, I, I think I said 23 to 24. 23 to 24. Psalm 37, 23 to 24. Yeah, take, um, I know technology is very good when it, when it works. Yeah. Um, it's not yet there. Uh, yep. Yeah. He said, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Look at this. Listen to this. Verse 24. He said, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord uphold him with his hand. God will uphold you with his hand in Jesus' name. So, wisdom to continue. Though he falls. Brethren, let me be honest with you this morning. There will be mistakes here and there. I just told you about my mistake in the past. There will be mistakes here and there. That is not a license to call it a quit. The righteous man can fall down seven times. But he will still rise again. I said you will rise again. Amen. Is there anybody who is on the ground today? God Almighty will pick you up. Amen. I said God will pick you up. Amen. Is it your business? Is it your family? Is it your academics? Is it your ministry? God will pick you up. In the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the experience in the past might have been. But the Lord will give you a new experience. I said the Lord will give you a new experience. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 So wisdom is very, very important. Wisdom is very, very important. Wisdom in giving. I've said this in, pers in passing before. Wisdom in giving. It takes wisdom to give. To give as offering, as simple as offering is, it takes wisdom to give. There's wisdom in paying our tithe. I think I said it this morning. There's wisdom in paying our tithe. There's wisdom in giving. The Bible says there is a man that gathers. He gathers. But what does he do? He loses everything. But there's one that will scatter. And he has all. May you have all in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace to give, may the Lord give unto us in the name of Jesus. The grace to give, may the Lord give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. 
there is a wisdom to finish well. Wisdom to finish well. Pastor, can I just say this to you, sir? The story of Moses was a sad one. But I pray for you today. You will see the promised land. We are human beings, sir. We are going to offend you from time to time. Moses was fret. He was annoyed. They said some things to him to the extent that he misbehaved to God. You will not misbehave, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you will finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die on the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will finish well. You will be happy over your family. You will be happy over your wife. You will be happy over your children. And I pray for as many of us who have been supporting them today. That God Almighty will help us to finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Moses told the people, he said, it is because of you that I didn't make it to the promised land. That will not be the experience of any of you here today in Jesus' name. There's a wisdom to finish well. Don't allow people to fret you to the extent that you will do things that God does not like. The Lord will uphold you. As many of us who are leaders in the house, the Lord will uphold you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I know we are leaders in different capacities. Don't allow your subjects, permit me to use the word, your subjects, people under you, your children, don't allow them to annoy you to the extent that we say negative things to them. They can stand against us. May that will not be our experience in the name of Jesus. There's wisdom in looking after our children, after our family. There's wisdom, men, there's wisdom in loving your wife. Women, there's wisdom in loving your husband. It is wisdom. Remember the land in which we are. There's wisdom in taking care and looking after your family. I want us to rise up on our feet this morning. I want us to rise up on our feet this morning. I want us to rise up on our feet this morning. There's wisdom in giving our life to Jesus Christ. There's wisdom in surrendering to God. Solomon took a decision several years, several years ago. And people came to celebrate him. Are you making a decision this morning? Are you taking a decision this morning? To go with the Lord. Just like the song we heard at the beginning of the service. I've made up my mind to go with the Lord. I have made up my mind. Are you saying goodbye to the world? Is one of your legs inside the church and the other one is outside the church? Is what is going on in your heart is let them say whatever they are going to say. I will do what I want to do. That is not a wisdom, brother. That is not a wisdom, sister. I want you to pray for yourself today. I want you to speak and talk to the Lord. I want you to ask Him to give you wisdom, to help you to take a wisdom, a decision that will change things for you, that will turn things around for you, that will transform, that will translocate you from your present position. I want you to speak to the Lord. I want you to speak to the Lord. I want you to speak to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Father, your altar in my life, let it not go down. The fire of my altar, let it not go down, O oh God. The oil on top of my altar, let it not run dry. In the name of Jesus, what type of wisdom do you need this morning? Is there a wisdom for your business? Wisdom to run your family. Wisdom in your place of work. Wisdom in the ministry. I want you to talk to the Lord this morning. I want you to talk to the Lord this morning. I want you to talk to the Lord this morning. Oh, Gashinda Balaba Riman Zasike. Limana Pareko Sinke Shenda Pampo Rosi. Ima Kataka Liba Riman Shenko Tonko Roboroi. Almighty God of heaven and the earth. Masanko Tonko Robo Riman Zaisi. Rebo Shendo Bozaka Takalaga. Father Almighty God. We come unto you, O God. Meka Sombo Semin Kayabi. Do you have an altar? that has been pulled down 
Do you have an altar that has been dismantled? I want you to come to God this morning. I want you to you rebuild your altar. Altar of prayer. Altar of sacrifice. Altar of giving. Altar of service. I want you to come to the Lord this morning. I want you to ask the Lord this morning to rebuild your altar for you. Makon Sakanta Jabu Remanzasi. Father Almighty God, please rebuild my altar today. Gasson Kapari Munzesi. Maja Karaba Sunko Tonko Robo Rossi. Maja Bashanda Katakuri Kanzei. Lekwa Ramansha Katamanzaia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Gasuko Rekete Parusa. Manatan Katonko Robo Shendo Bori Manzei. Makete Poromo Shagayaba. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we are here before you today. Release your wisdom. Wisdom to do exploit, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Wisdom to do exploit. Exploit in your vineyard. Father, release unto us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praises. In Jesus' mighty name, we have been praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we have been praying. Amen. Please permit me to take this prayer. As many of us who are also ministers in the house, ministers in the house, leaders of the different groups, I want us to just come before the altar of God so that we can pray together this morning. Ministers in the house, we just want to pray together. And you are standing before the altar of God. Brethren, I want you to just pray for yourself. And church, I beg you in the name of God, please stretch forth your hand to this people, to this people, and pray for them. <laughs> the Bible says that we are men of like passion. <laughs> men of like passion. We have desires. We have needs. We have ambition. We have aspirations. We are men of like passions. I want you to pray for these people standing. Please, I request you. I am asking, I'm begging. Please pray for them. Please pray for them. Please pray for them. God Almighty, Zekata Konzei, Maneto Rigedi Baria, the wisdom of God, that these souls, these lives, your children, Vosa Kati Manzeli, Pau Garaka Tanzesi, that they need, O oh God, Bakada Igeria, to do exploit. Resene Dabu, Rakambaba Rimunzosi, to do exploit. Rekapau Rimunzeki, in their various departments, in their various departments. Rosa Katabaronke Mbambarakaya, Gajeso Koto Poromunzesia, Father, release unto them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I ask, O oh God, with every sense of humility, Daddy, the God of heaven and the earth, you will release unto your children that which their heart desires from you. Wrap them up in your love, God. Wrap them up in your mercy, O Lord. Let none of them drop by. Let them finish well, Daddy. Roshede Baba Barika Kaya. Roshanda Bamba Bakatayasi. Let them continue with you, Lord, in your vineyard. Let none of them call it a quit, Daddy. Let it be well with them. Let it be well with their families. Let it be well with their homes. Let it be well with their ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. Rekete Bangonzan Katabarasi. Take our glory, Daddy. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Brethren, please, I just want you to face the congregation. And I want us together to pray for the congregation. 
corporate prayer is what they call it I want you to just stretch forth your hand to this congregation <laughs> speak as the Lord asks you, commands you speak to this congregation speak speak, speak your desires shall be granted rekete pangoli kenga baru zeketa manja ro alima nama tapa ramangasa ongola mansakote koli girika ane note kili manjie liara kanta koli gereba idama janzo zokoto koreba bambarati endanamo tonzose rekende jezo lei mananda rakata piebu ambarakata zekete pamboro konto koli gayaya Enda mana na tenko singa la ya i ziala konsa kataya idako toko kore manzais rekete bakoli manga baya idama parososo majaba kandoke manga ndaya zakata gala aleke te paremo zozo mina kanta kanta kari boros idamo zoko ya idama jaya zekeria thank you father lord we worship your name. We exalt you, Daddy, in Jesus' mighty name. We have been praying. Yimu kalagi ya buroshi ya bia, ya kanta huria, ya rukan shadaya. I understand the challenges, but God will make way for you. Rosa nanda rakatam burosi. Whatever anybody is using against you, ganto rimangala baru. Whatever excuse anybody is using against you today, as I stand upon this exalted altar, Rako number Rama Zakatayayi, Roshede Bakanda Yeso Kataya Celia, I turn it around for you, you will be favored in the name of the Lord Jesus, you will be favored in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you have not had enough. You have not had enough. You have not had enough of God. Go sin in the baru kakaya. You have not had enough of God. You karakata mazan katala burika. You have not had enough of God. Roshende banza sakata bureke. You have not had enough of God. Nere mosa kanta gali borosia denke so kabayase the lord is taking you to places in the name of the lord jesus the lord is taking you to places in the mighty name of jesus rokamba la baba sakata kalaga yase ye konzasi kanshadi onka shida libarete press press the lord can we have some silence I have a ministration in my spirit. Somebody is there saying, <laughs> what will people say about me? What, 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 what will they say with all this that I'm going through? What will they say? <laughs> Yananda kala gaya biya biya biya. Zikala kushanda labori kantanda yase. Gana tanza kataya. Anna has been going to Shiloh. She was almost giving up. What will people say? I have been coming to Shiloh. Zunika tambure kan shada kala gala kata yase. Ruri kapaburia. Today, the Almighty God, the Spirit of God, has read your lips. Zinipauru kamba laka tandarakaya. I know you are not drunk. Yimu na mana makabalimu zekete palagaya. You are not drunk. You are expressing yourself unto me. The Lord will answer you. Do can Baba reke shende boli kanta yaze. Gegeli baraka tambuzo se kete baria. The Lord will answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That issue that is boiling in your heart. Issue that is boiling your heart. You even find it difficult to discuss with people. Makan in deri kenza kanta yaze koli garakaya. Rashanda Bala Mansa Kantaya Guri Karia. The one who sits in the secret 
Yama nako tangali bonshanda kanda ya zilia. He will reward you. He will answer you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He will answer you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. Lord we worship you. Daddy we exalt your name. Take all glory Lord. In Jesus mighty name. We have all prayed. Praise the Lord. Let's go back to our seat. Thank you very much. Let's go back to our seat. Let's go back to our seat. Thank you. God bless you. God will honor you. I just want to appreciate the church again. I thank you for the opportunity that you have not said this young boy. And I really, really appreciate the opportunity that you have given unto me. Pastor, thank you, sir. As always, I appreciate you. And on behalf of my family, on behalf of my wife, on behalf of our children, we really, really appreciate you. We thank you for your love in the past. Thank you for the love in the present. Thank you for your love in the future. And the Lord will uphold you in Jesus' name. And the church of God, we appreciate you. You are lovely. You are wonderful. You, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are excellent. You cannot be described. Okay? You cannot be described. I thank you so much. We bless the name of God on your behalf. And we thank God for all the support in different ways. God will reward you. God will help you. God will uphold you. Wonderful choir. I enjoy you. It was a great time in the presence of God today. God Almighty will lift you higher. More than what you can imagine. God will lift you higher. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those that give their time to God, they get the time back in multiple folds. They get the reward back in multiple folds. You are not doing it for fun. You are not doing it in vain. God who sees your energy, the energy and the strength you put into the service, it will reward you. In the mighty name of Jesus, committed members of the church, I celebrate you and I thank God on your behalf. Thank you so much.